All right, Planet Rob vlog peoples. Just wanted to bring uh, the uh, attention back to the 2019 SS1LE real quick. We're gonna hop in the back and show you how to go camping. But first I wanted to give you a little sneak preview what I've done under the hood here. And the review will be coming out shortly, but voila. There's the uh, Pro Charger right there. So uh, yeah, I got this thing supercharged now. So just wanted to give you an update with that. This is a uh, CA legal carb certified right there. So it's all good to go. No worries with the law. So we're all in compliance. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a whole breakdown of that whole uh, process and adventure. So. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, notify, and get ready for that coming down the pike. But in the meantime, I wanted to hop in back here and show you guys just how exactly you can sleep in this thing pretty comfortably, actually. So um, before this, I was kind of curling up in the back here, in the back seat where uh you know you can lay down if you lay down some pillows there's my mascot here for the uh for the camaro here the good old gorilla black gorilla holding it down <clears throat> but uh instead of curling up here in the back on and laying on my side which i can make work also a little bit more comfortably can pull this guy down flatten her out right there and look you already almost have um, a good sleeping spot already but you have a good space for it I mean if you really wanted to you could really like you know uh, retrofit a, a really flat surface but even with this let me show you guys what you have here where I got this thing on Amazon for 20 bucks it was on sale and you have a, a pretty thin yoga mat here I have a thicker workout mat so let's let's inflate this up and see uh, just how much thickness I need I you know I used this the other day and actually slept in the car like this just using this but I think you know what I was finding is I could maybe have used a little bit more cushion this might be too much as far as the clearances, but let's let's uh, inflate this up and see how it feels. And I'm gonna hop in, let you guys know. Okay, so I inflated this guy. This is such a cool little device here. It's kind of like that bed of nails principle where these aren't too strong there um, by themselves. But once you lay on it all flat, it works, and you know where you evenly distribute your weight. But let's, let me start with this padding, the thicker one, and see if this is too thick for the clearance as far as uh, putting this under the mattress. So, try and lay it down. Maybe go on. Let me put the phone down here for a second. Okay, so now this is what it looks like now. So, you know, it goes over a little bit into the, uh, you know, so it's not fully getting, uh, you know, covered there, but let's, let me get in it real quick and tell you how it feels. One sec. Okay, we're now laying down in the Camaro. You can see here my feet are against the back and turn around here. 
my head is a little bit over the edge here, but the way I sleep, I kind of curl up like this. So it's kind of perfect, honestly. You know, if I need to stretch out a little bit, you know, you can get, you know, maybe a few pillows. Maybe you could even retrofit some kind of platform here to extend this if you're taller. But you see, I have all the seats pushed up, the backs against, you know, as far forward as possible. And yeah, this is like, this is usable. I got like some nice, uh, you know, nice hour nap uh, the other day when I was uh, just out and about. Didn't get enough sleep the night before. And all you have to do is bring this guy and the uh, the optional the optional uh, workout mat underneath. It's not too thick at all, so uh, the double thickness here um, works. So you know, if you're a little wider, you could just uh, take you know just go with this uh, inflatable guy or even that yoga mat. But yoga mats, as you know, aren't uh, don't have any cushioning. You know, there's just more for grip. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, it's not for all body types, but I'm six foot, 180, 185, trying to stay at 180 these days. But, yeah, you know, I'm a side sleeper. So, I don't know if, you, if you're more of a, if you're more of a back sleeper, you know, you're going to be a little bit more uh, over the edge here up top if you'd like to straighten your legs. But the way I sleep... It's kind of like kind of curled up on my side, not too curled up, but just you know, knees bent as you can see here down the line. So, pretty cool. I mean, how many people can say that that their supercharged Camaro they can they can take fat naps in as well? You can't do this in a Porsche, nope. You got your engine back here for a Porsche, so. It's kind of one of the cool things. You probably can do it in a Mustang too. Um, probably you can do it in a Challenger also. Um, heck, I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe this is common. I don't know. But I hadn't heard of it, and uh, maybe you haven't either. But I just wanted to kind of show you what I've discovered along the way here, adventuring in this car. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, notify, and we'll uh, do a whole Pro Charger review on this thing soon because uh that was a whole adventure in and of itself so um another thing about this i was thinking of putting a sub back here where if you had if i had put a sub back here i couldn't do this so that's kind of why i have uh um, not put a uh, subwoofer here in the back in the trunk yet plus they got to kind of rip the whole car apart on the inside so trying to avoid that as much as possible keep it as uh you know unmolested um as possible here um you know stock plus we're keeping it you know not trying to ruin it you know there's a lot of Camaros out there that you know um depending on your taste um you know but every that's kind of the cool thing that you know everyone can kind of personalize their car you know however they want and uh you know there's uh no rules except for the uh, state you live in, you know, like in California here, we have all these, uh, you know, emission compliances and we have, we can't modify our exhaust, all that good stuff. People, you know, plenty of people do, but then you're just running the risk of running into the, you know, wrong cop on the wrong day in a bad mood. And, and you know, then you have to go get state ref and pay all this money to go get it put back to normal. So instead of doing that, here we are, um, keeping it stock plus and uh yeah taking fat naps and uh you know hauling ass so all right subscribe notify and uh, we'll see you on the uh, pro charger review and have a good night